This is gonna sound a little weird, but when I was a kid, I was very into lighting. I don't mean like movie and theatrical lighting, but like Christmas lights, stuff like this. I would beg my friend's parents to let me help them set up their Christmas lights. And I probably caused more trouble than I solved, or whatever that expression is, but I found lighting to be a lot of fun. I don't even know why. And that's part of the reasons why I like making videos. I don't make videos because I like being on camera. I think that's why most people do it. I like the technical aspects. I like the cameras, the editing, the lighting, all that kind of stuff, which is why you're watching me now. So I was watching a BigClive.com video, and if you're not watching BigClive.com's videos, or Big Clive's videos, whatever, you should, because they're really good. And all they've done is just mush 50 of them because I counted. Well, I kind of counted half. He's like the Bob Ross of random Chinese objects. Random, almost lightning and fractal-like images. Not real fractals, but fractal-like. I don't know if it was a recommendation in his video necessarily, but I got them because I saw them on there and they look cool to me. And I figure, why not? But if you want to see them taken apart and know how they work, check out his video, because I won't be getting into that. But the reason I got these is more about just not the fact that I find them to be cool, but what, how I could use them to make videos. You see, I like to spice up my lighting a little bit with uh, some colored lighting, like that soft box back there. Because a little bit of colored lighting makes uh, metal glint in a kind of cool way, and just reflects off some surfaces. Like I was using, this is too bright though. I was using it in this video, and I think it just was a little much, but a little bit of subtle light can just add a little bit of flair to the video. And so that's what these are for. Uh, these come pretty well packaged. Each bulb is in an individual box. It's got some bubble wrap around it. I think it's a plastic globe anyway, so yeah, it's definitely plastic. And those were all wrapped up inside this nice padded envelope. It was from Banggood and they cost $8.61 each, so it was 25 bucks for the three of them. I ordered it on October 11th, it shipped on October 14th, and I got it on the 24th. So, I mean, less than two weeks is pretty good from China to New York, especially for free shipping. So I've been waving this around without telling you what it is. So the globe is filled with this string of lights, which I think is just two aluminum conductors, probably with some kind of lacquer on them for insulation, with LEDs spaced along the length. And then it's all just crammed into this bulb in a sort of random way. And it runs on, a, I'm assuming these are 120 volts, I sure hope they are. Well, with an Edison screw base, most likely they are. Ooh, cool. So yeah, obviously this is a purple version. I forgot what colors I got. I got three colors. When I was going to buy them, they were out of at least one or two colors I wanted, but I definitely wanted purple, and I'm not disappointed. Whoop. Yeah, this is probably a better way of looking at it. Yeah, I mean, it's very cool. Now, obviously, it's not bright. I mean, it's not going to be bright enough to light a set or to light me up, and that's not the idea of these. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to light myself in purple. Just a little purple accent lighting is what I'm after, just a little glint. Now, this won't even be bright enough to do what this is doing right now, because that's a fairly bright softbox behind me. But I'm hoping this will work by reflecting off my glasses or some other object that I'm holding up if this is sort of next to the camera or just in front of the camera but out of shot. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be orange or red. It's, it's sort of a reddish orange or an orangey red. It, it looks pretty nice though. Not as bright as the purple, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. So far I'm pretty happy with these. Ah, and blue. Maybe I did get the three colors I wanted, because this is a really nice blue. I mean, it's a little more than an ice blue, but not, not quite deep. Uh, very nice, though. I like this a lot. These are nice bulbs. Very cool. And I'm looking at them right now on my monitor, and they don't appear to be flickering. We'll see when I go to edit this if it actually is flickering. Do the waving around test. No, even to my eye, it doesn't look like it's flickering. So, that's a good thing, because one of the big problems with LED lights and other sort of cheap lights like this, not that these are terribly cheap, is that on camera they can flicker quite badly. Like in another video I tried to use this set of Christmas lights, or Halloween lights I guess they are because they're orange, to a similar effect, but you can see how flickery they are. That's terribly distracting in a video, and so these are kind of useless for that. I mean I guess I could add a capacitor or something to smooth it out, but um, I don't know, I'm not Big Clive so I'm probably not going to do that. But, I mean, the orange on these look really cool. I like these a lot, but uh, it's just the flickering that kills it. In fact, that's why I chose to demonstrate with these lights, because these are incandescents and they don't flicker. 
or at least they don't flicker perceptibly to the camera or to me. Or to you. I guess I'm not really gonna know until I edit this how they're gonna look, but I mean, you could almost believe they're generating that light back there, right? I'm looking at the monitor right now. I mean, they look cool. I don't know, you be the judge. And now I'm gonna put this one on the tripod with the camera, see if it gives any kind of a reflection in my glasses or any kind of glint in my eye. That would be cool, right? I think. So the blue one is right there underneath the lens. And uh, like I said, I don't really know. Is it doing anything for me? Probably not. Well, that's a shame, but it's worth a try. I mean, you gotta experiment with this kind of stuff and see what looks good, what doesn't. And if you wanna add a splash of color to your lighting, these bulbs are sold at Home Depot and probably a million other places. They're sunlight bulbs. I might've gotten these on Amazon, actually. Uh, they're just LED bulbs, plastic, so you don't have to worry about breaking them, which is always great. And they give off a very, well, I'll show you. And they give off a very even, flicker-free glow. I think they're supposed to be 40 watt equivalents. I mean, they're not super bright. They're kind of swamping out the camera there, which is why I'm pointing at my face so you can see what they look like. But, uh, I mean, very good. And not expensive either. I think they're maybe five bucks a piece, which is kind of expensive for a light bulb, but you know, you only need a couple of them just to add a little bit of color. And, and especially when you combine them in a soft box or something, they really do give a nice light. Like these two will give a really deep, nice purple. And if you're recording an object, you don't have to put them right next to the object to get the effect. I mean, you don't want to do that because you don't want to actually change the color of the scene. You want to mount them maybe, I don't know, six, eight feet away, just so that when you're moving around the thing that you're talking about, you get a little bit, actually that's a bad example because it's actually showing a reflection of the light itself, which is not really what you want. But you just kind of want a little glint off of any shiny edges. I don't know, I'm not saying that's the right way to light a video, I just like to play around with it and add a few extra lights here and there. Sometimes they do get carried away. And I mean, I don't think you need 17 lights to light a YouTube video, but I do it anyway, just because I like playing with the lights. Not because I think it's cinematically necessary or anything crazy like that. It's not an artistic choice. It's more of a fun choice. And that's really the important part about making videos for YouTube. I mean, I'm not getting paid, so I should have fun, right? Anyway, that's been my brief rant about light bulbs for virtually no reason at all. Thank you for watching.